Bachelor number one plans to get a job, work, retire, and die. Now, that's got it all mapped out. He's a student right now. He likes to do everything, and he sometimes plays tennis professionally. Please welcome Neil Malley. Neil, welcome. <laughs> Bachelor number two is looking for a lady with a bawdy sense of humor. Writing songs, amateur wrestling matches, and the disco scene keep him busy. Say hello to Guy Ferraro. And bachelor number three is, well, he's just too humble to tell us he's a genius. So I'll do that for him. As a student, he finds time to play golf every day and fool around with all kinds of musical instruments. Welcome the very intelligent Jim Holdaway. And those are our bachelors for game number two. Our young lady is standing by. She's ready to go, so let's meet her right now. This lovely young lady is definitely a sweet treat. She's a bank teller who likes rock and soccer and going to concerts. She wants to find a guy who likes to get crazy and enjoy nightlife. Here's the incredible Lisa Ingram. Hello, Lisa. You look lovely. You like to get crazy. I'll tell you what. I think we might, might just have the three crazy guys for you over there. And a little later on, you can choose. Right now, you got the easy part. Just ask the questions and see what they say. And I'll do the first one. Number one, would you please say hello to Lisa? Uh, hi, Lisa. You're probably wondering why I'm here tonight, as I know I am. It's because <laughs> I believe you should do everything at least once. Mm -hmm. Once for the experience. But if you do it twice, that's perversion. So there you go. <laughs> All right. That's number one. How about bachelor number two? How about you? Lisa, I can't tell you how happy I am to meet you and be here on the dating game with you. All right. And how about bachelor number three? Very politely. Hello, Lisa. All right. Those are the voices. Those are the guys. Now, you don't know anything about them, obviously. You don't recognize any of the voices. No. Okay. Well, have a seat, Lisa. You got your questions all set. See if you can find out anything else. Good luck, gentlemen, because here comes your verbal Rorschach. Let's go. Hello. 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 Okay. <clears throat> Bachelor number one. That's me. Okay. We're about to be eaten by a great white shark. What'll be your last request? My last request, uh -huh. we're eaten by a great white shark. Well, I'm glad you asked me that question because I'm really, I'm really ready to answer it. But probably, I don't know, what we'd probably do is we'd probably start swimming like hell. And I... At your last request? Well, You're going to ask the shark to let us swim for, like hell? Well... <laughs> Probably not. Probably I'd ask you to swim like hell, and I'd probably hang on to you, man, and I'd say, go. All right. Bachelor number two, same question. Well, if we were about to be eaten by a great white shark, I think being a sentimentalist at heart, my last request would be to be with you and to just be able to see you one last time before we went, and, and that would make me the happiest person in the entire world. What a dummy. <laughs> Bachelor number three. Same question. Number three, same thing, yeah. Well, I'd hope I went uh, feet first so that my head would be sticking out of his mouth and I'd have my last goodbye to you. Aww. <laughs> All right, bachelor number one. That's me again. It's our 10th date and you just told me you love me, but I just told you we've, I've had a sex change operation. How does this affect your feelings for me? Not too much, because I think we could probably, probably have a really good plutonic relationship, you know? And, uh, That's really not too much. I'm really into astrology, and I really believe like in plutonic relationships and uh, <laughs> things like that. So, uh, probably... But uh, you love me now. It's plutonic. What happened? Well, I'll tell you. Nothing happened. You always okay. You always pick the one you love the most. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that before. Thank you. Bachelor number three. <laughs> yes. What cartoon character would you like most to do weird things to? And what did you have in mind? Uh, I'd like to be uh, tangled up in the... Uh, with Bugs Bunny. Yes, Bugs hey, Bunny. Bugs. Bugs Bunny. <laughs> because uh, I'd like to check out his little tiny uh, hole in the ground in this expansive apartment downstairs. Maybe rent it from him. You and I could take that little elevator downstairs head first and dive into the living room and okay. sit down and watch. Bachelor number three, same question. That was number three. Oh, okay. Bachelor number one, same question. Well, I got it first, but you can go ahead. <laughs> you skipped over two, that's all. Number two? That was for number one. Number one. Number two. Um, no, she said number one. Oh, number one? I don't know. What do you want to do, Lisa? 
Next question. Uh, uh, <laughs> when bear di bears die, they make rugs out of them. What are you going to be used for when you bite the dust? Uh, you're talking to me? Number one. That's me, number one. Okay, I'm still number one. Um, um, no um, promotions. Yeah, I think really probably I'd like to be used for a, a rag that you'd use to polish your shoe. <laughs> all right, Lisa, it's all over. Now all you have to do is make up your mind. So think what they said and make a decision. And we hope you found out enough because in a few moments we'll get that decision right after these good words. Don't go away. Up a game tool received the Pen Wizard Racquetball Racket. It's light, fast, and powerful, and four pen racquetballs, lively, consistent, durable, and double guaranteed. And now, first alert smoke detector with escape light to light up your way to safety. First alert from Pitway, the professionals in home alarms. Plus Lister Mint. No leading mint mouthwash works better. It keeps breath fresher longer. Why not switch to Lister Mint? It tastes as good as it works. Plus, scrunch scrubber sponges. They're made tougher than steel pads, yet scour without scratching. Use one in the kitchen, one in the bath. Now back to Jim Lang and the dating game. Thank you, Johnny. That was well said. And welcome back to the dating game, everybody. All right, Lisa, you're on the spot. This is it. Time now to make that decision. The hard part for you, I guess, because you're going to have to select one of those bachelors over there. Who will it be? Will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Who's that lucky fellow? Number three. Number three! <laughs> I don't, they seem to agree. I, I can't offer you any opinion. All I can say is, why? Why number three? What did he do? Because he wanted his head to go last in the shark and say goodbye to me. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. His head is going to be the last one around this partition because we're going to meet the other guys first. And then we'll keep you in suspense a little bit. Bachelor number one wasn't chosen. He's a student, a professional tennis player, Neil Malley. Neil, come on and say hello. Please, please, please. I thought you were terrific. Good job, Neil. Right. You also didn't choose bachelor number two. He's a songwriter into wrestling and disco. Guy Ferraro. Guy, come on and say hello, please. You had some great answers, too. However, only one can win. But we have gifts for each of you, and I'll bet you're both back another time. Thank you very much. It's not a perversion to come on a show twice. You know that. All right, Lisa. Now's the time to meet the man you picked for your night on the town. Hold your breath and I'll tell you something about bachelor number three. He's a student, actually a genius. Loves to play golf, plays every day. He also loves music. His name is Jim Holdaway. Jimmy, come on and say hello. Please. All right. Well, Lisa and Jim, get ready to fill your dating game memories with crystal clear skies and romantic ocean breezes because we are sending the two of you to sexy San Diego, California. An abundance of nautical adventures and fast-paced fun awaits you the moment you set foot in that seaside resort. You'll be the guests of the Little America Westgate Hotel, where you'll love the elegant service, and you'll discover the ambiance of 18th century Europe at the Little America Westgate, featuring beautifully decorated guest rooms and superb cuisine. Then it's off to the San Diego Zoo, where you'll take the bus tour and meet 3,000 animal friends, or ride the Sky Fari Cable for a bird's eye perspective. There are rare animals and lush garden settings, and there's always something new at the San Diego Zoo. You'll also be guests of the San Diego Wild Animal Park, where endangered animals roam free. You'll see animal shows and tour the preserve aboard a monorail train, have fun, and stay away from the white shark. And if you do, go in feet first. Thank you very much. Jimmy, come on, we gotta say goodbye. Come on over here. Jerry, good job. Bye-bye. Hope you always get the date you want. Ready to throw a kiss? Come on, let's go. Here we go. Some of our couples will be chauffeured by America. The extra service car rental that gives you the executive treatment features Chrysler and other fine cars. Have you and your friends met Dinah and her friends? Do it weekday afternoons at 3.30 on Channel 5. Now stay tuned for the Twilight Zone. Dating Game is a Chuck Ferris production. Their existence...
Well, Lisa and Jim, get ready to fill your dating game memories with crystal clear skies and romantic ocean breezes, because we are sending the two of you to sexy San Diego, California. An abundance of nautical adventures and fast-paced fun awaits you the moment you set foot in that seaside resort. You'll be the guests of the Little America Westgate Hotel, where you'll love the elegant service, and you'll discover the ambiance of 18th century Europe at the Little America Westgate, featuring beautifully decorated guest rooms and superb cuisine. Then it's off to the San Diego Zoo, where you'll take the bus tour and meet 3,000 animal